I've had the car two weeks and this is what I've done to it. Okay, welcome back. In this one, we're gonna be doing the first official mods to the F87 M2. I have a few different parts, mainly parts to kind of do some blackout stuff on the exterior and delete the chrome. I don't think any of it's gonna to be too complex. So this will be sort of like half DIY, half uh, just sort of documenting the changes to the car. First up is going to be a set of these blackout grills. I actually picked these up from Amazon, yes, Amazon, and I'm gonna try them out. So I'm actually gonna use just the outer ring and then keep the inner um, slats of the M2 grill. That way I keep the M2 badge and I keep most of it OEM and I basically just avoid either painting or vinyling um, the surround. So I made sure, I looked through the Amazon reviews and it seemed like a few people did the same thing. You can see there's little clips. Where's a good example? There's a little clip. So you basically have to go around this whole thing, unclip all those little clips. The frame will come off of it and then that frame will go on the M2 grills. So same process on the grills once I get them out. To take these things off should be pretty easy. I did a little bit of research, basically pull off this rubber weather stripping. There's some Torx bits under here, or Torx screws under here. Undo the Torx screws, bumper should pull out enough to get a hand back there, and then you um, unclip, start unclipping the grill kind of one by one with your hand back there. So probably going to be rough on the old wrist and the hand. So I'll throw it on a time lapse and I'll uh, show you guys once it's done. Well, that sucks. The technique that I found online is not working. I suspect that because this car had a slight fender bender at some point, this bumper is potentially an OEM or a non OEM front bumper and it's less flexible. Because when I looked at even like instructions for IND's website, they say you should be able to easily peel this bumper up because it's urethane and blah 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 you're not going to hurt it but this thing does not feel like it really wants to come up very far and the last thing i want to do is damage the bumper while trying to do this so unfortunately i'm going to have to put a pause on this and probably end up having to take the whole front bumper off which certainly sounds like it sucks but i would rather do this the right way than potentially damage something. So, cut to me taking the front bumper off. I've had the car two weeks and this is what I've done to it. So I was frustrated that I couldn't get the grill out as I showed you guys already. So I ended up taking the whole bumper off. It was a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's off enough. So now you can see my hand clearly slides behind the bumper. I'm just sort of leaving it sitting. I kind of have it propped up. And this is how I'm going to place the grills. Not the most ideal situation, but uh, I really wanted to get this job done. All right, cleaned up the inside of the grill, put the bumper on with a few bolts, just a couple eight millimeters in the side and a couple of the Torx bolts up top. So that's on there good. Now we're gonna pop these puppies in, make sure everything fits up, and then we will get the bumper fully reinstalled again.
All right, there it is. Now I just got to bolt the entire bumper back together. Lucky me. All in all, it wasn't that bad. Anyone wants to do Amazon grills, let me know. I will find you the link. Everything honestly worked really well. The slats made it up to the surrounds pretty well. So again, the only thing you're using is just the surround. These pop off with these little tabs on the back. You take the black one from the Amazon grill, pop it on the slats for the M2. That way you get to keep the badge. And then Bam, you got yourself a $40, $45, whatever it is, set of grills, and uh, they fit up pretty well. So that's that. Now on to the side markers. All right, next up on the list here is a set of these blacked out M2 um, side grills, I guess you call them. I opted not to go for the full blackout or full carbon fiber that a lot of people do, which you basically have to take the adhesive off this grill or you have to pop this whole grill out that's held on by adhesive. Um, instead, I found these. These are OEM BMW. I, I forget. Uh, well, there's the part number in case anyone needs it. Uh, focus. These are an OEM part. I don't know what model they came on, um, but I couldn't find them anywhere in the US. I had to get them shipped from Europe, so they took a little while to get here. They were 50 some dollars off eBay. Install should be pretty simple. I think these pretty much just pop off. There's uh, some clips here. There are some clips on the back. You can see that hold this grill on. So hoping just to quickly pop those off, pop the new ones on, and these will be done. I have sort of an assortment of picks and pry tools here. So basically just going to Figure out what works. That was extremely easy. Used uh, this guy just to get it started, didn't do any damage, and then use these tools just to kind of pry it off. So, super easy. Let me clean that off quick, pop the new one on. All right, so a little tip for anyone doing this. I was having trouble getting this little tab at the end popped in properly, and I went and did the other side and tried a different approach and then came back to this side, but when you, when you Put this grill back in you basically have to work from the skinny side to the fat side so when i put this in initially i couldn't get this little clip in i actually started with this side uh when i redid it i started with this side and then i basically held this and then popped kind of put, applied pressure and popped in all the way across and then doing that ensures that this clip um, engages so now it's in it's fully done this side is also fully done so yeah Blackout grills are fully installed. Looks much, much better than the chrome grills that come on the car. All right, next up on the agenda are these M mirror caps, carbon mirror caps. I picked these up locally. Uh, I got a pretty good price. I think they were a name brand or a somewhat name brand from the what the previous owner said. I honestly don't know what the brand is, though. They look to be pretty good quality like nice weave the only thing is they definitely need a polish um, I don't know if it's just from wear or what but you can see some kind of hairline scratches in there so I'll probably wait until they're on to actually polish them up but these are pretty standard upgrade for these cars they just they just clip on if you can see in the back here there's uh, three clips so I'm gonna be very careful take my time um, pop the old ones off then I'll get these new ones on, and I will show the process for anyone that wants to do this as well. All right, I have a couple different pry tools here. I'm gonna start just with the pry approach. Some people, I don't know. I've seen the instructions, I think, on like IND or somebody's site is to actually pop the mirror itself out. And then there's a few uh, screws back there 
but I've also heard that some of them don't have screws and they just pop. So I'm going to very gently see if I can pop this thing off first and that will alleviate me having to do any more work. And if that does not work, then I will be taking the mirror out. Show what I did quickly because I was having trouble just popping this thing off. I basically angled the mirror up inside and then just used a pry tool on the inside um, to pry the mirror off. But I'll probably hit each of these little clips, just pinch those while pulling out. You can see another one in there and see if I can get it off first. And then uh, if not, then I'll probably mess with those screws. So let's try that first. Sweet, it's off. No broken clips. We'll uh, clean that up a little bit and then hit the new one. All right, uh, it's on. I just gotta pop that mirror back from the other side, but that was pretty painless. I actually kind of like having the mirror out just because it allows you to be able to, to see the clips and you know you're not breaking anything, but to each his own, some people can probably do it without any stress. So I'm gonna pop the mirror back in and then uh, it'll be the same process on the other side. finished up and I cannot believe how big of a difference these mirror caps make. This car was really like missing, I would say it was really missing these M mirrors from the factory. Um, you don't really notice it until you actually have these things installed but it just looks so much more aggressive. Like I can't, I actually can't believe that a set of just mirror caps made the car look this much more aggressive but that's a good thing. Mirror caps fit really well, gave them a quick polish and a coat of uh, ceramic. So they're shining up decent. I think I may need to cut a little bit more um, to polish them up better. But um, yeah, for the most part, pretty happy. Hopefully this install video helps you guys out a little bit. I do think popping the mirror out and then hitting those clips from the back, to me, it was just a nice peace of mind. So that's my suggestion to anyone doing this. It takes an extra 30 seconds to pop the mirror off. That way you know you're getting the clips popped out properly and then the new new mirror caps put on. So that is it for this video and for the first mods to the OG M2. Very pumped with how it looked. It makes the car look a lot more aggressive. Hopefully this video helps you guys out if you want to do the same thing. Um, all in all, you know, this was maybe, it was probably less than $200 worth of exterior mods. Um, and to me, it really transformed the, uh, the exterior of the car. So I'm happy with it. And again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. In the next one, we're going to start with the performance mods on this thing. And we will just keep going down the rabbit hole from there. So hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks. Mm -hmm.